How to gain weight fast for skinny guys and girls. About two-thirds of people in the US are either overweight or obese. However, there are also many people with the opposite problem of being too skinny. This is a concern, as being underweight can be just as bad for your health as being obese. Additionally, many people who are not clinically underweight still want to gain some muscle. Whether you're clinically underweight or simply struggling to gain muscle weight, the main principles are the same. This video outlines a simple strategy to quickly gain weight the healthy way. What does underweight really mean? Being underweight is defined as having a body mass index BMI, below 18.5. This is estimated to be less than the body mass needed to sustain optimal health. Conversely, over 25 is considered overweight and over 30 is considered obese. However, keep in mind that there are many problems with the BMI scale, which only looks at weight and height. It does not take muscle mass into account. Some people are naturally very skinny but still healthy. Being underweight according to this scale does not necessarily mean that you have a health problem. What are the health consequences of being underweight? Obesity is currently one of the world's biggest health problems. However, being underweight may be just as bad for your health. According to one study, being underweight was associated with a 140% greater risk of early death in men, and 100% in women. In comparison, obesity was associated with a 50% greater risk of early death, indicating that being underweight may be even worse for your health. Another study found an increased risk of early death in underweight men, but not women, suggesting that being underweight may be worse for men. Being underweight can also impair your immune function, raise your risk of infections, lead to osteoporosis and fractures and cause fertility problems. What's more, people who are underweight are much more likely to get sarcopenia, age-related muscle wasting, and may be at greater risk of dementia. Several things can cause someone to become underweight. There are several medical conditions that can cause unhealthy weight loss, including eating disorders. This includes anorexia nervosa, a serious mental disorder, thyroid problems, Having an overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism, can boost metabolism and cause unhealthy weight loss. Celiac disease, the most severe form of gluten intolerance. Most people with celiac disease don't know that they have it. Diabetes, having uncontrolled diabetes, mainly type 1, can lead to severe weight loss. Cancer, cancerous tumors often burn large amounts of calories and can cause someone to lose a lot of weight. Infections, certain infections can cause someone to become severely underweight. This includes parasites, tuberculosis and HIV slash AIDS. If you're underweight, you may want to see a doctor to rule out any serious medical conditions. This is particularly important if you have recently started losing large amounts of weight without even trying. How to gain weight the healthy way. If you want to gain weight, it's very important to do it right. Binging on soda and donuts may help you gain weight, but it can destroy your health at the same time. If you're underweight, you want to gain a balanced amount of muscle mass and subcutaneous fat rather than a lot of unhealthy belly fat. There are plenty of normal weight people who get type 2 diabetes, heart disease and other health problems often associated with obesity. Therefore, it's absolutely essential to eat healthy foods and live an overall healthy lifestyle. Here are several effective ways to gain weight fast, without ruining your health at the same time. Eat more calories than your body burns. The most important thing you can do to gain weight is to create a calorie surplus meaning you eat more calories than your body needs. If you want to gain weight slowly and steadily, aim for 300 to 500 calories more than you burn each day. If you want to gain weight fast, aim for around 700 to 1000 calories above your maintenance level. Your needs may vary by several hundred calories per day, give or take. You don't need to count calories for the rest of your life, 
but it helps to do it for the first few days or weeks to get a feel for how many calories you're eating. There are many great tools out there to help you. Eat plenty of protein. The single most important nutrient for gaining healthy weight is protein. Muscle is made of protein and without it most of those extra calories may end up as body fat. Studies show that during periods of overfeeding, a high protein diet causes many of the extra calories to be turned into muscle. However, keep in mind that protein is a double-edged sword. It's also highly filling, which may reduce your hunger and appetite significantly, making it harder to get in enough calories. If you're trying to gain weight, aim for 0.7 to 1 grams of protein per pound of body weight. 1.5 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram. You can even go above that if your calorie intake is very high. High protein foods include meats, fish, eggs, many dairy products, legumes, nuts and others. Protein supplements like whey protein can also be useful if you struggle to get enough protein in your diet. Fill up on plenty of carbs and fat and eat at least three times per day. Many people try restricting either carbs or fat when trying to lose weight. This is a bad idea if your goal is to gain weight, as it will make it harder to get in enough calories. Eat plenty of high carb and high fat foods if weight gain is a priority for you. It is best to eat plenty of protein, fat and carbs at each meal. It is also a bad idea to do intermittent fasting. This is useful for weight loss and health improvement but can make it much harder to eat enough calories to gain weight. Make sure to eat at least three meals per day and try to add in energy-dense snacks whenever possible. Eat energy-dense foods and use sauces, spices, and condiments. Again, it's very important to eat mostly whole, single-ingredient foods. The problem is that these foods tend to be more filling than processed junk foods, making it harder to get in enough calories. Using plenty of spices, sauces and condiments can help with this. The tastier your food is, the easier it is to eat a lot of it. Also, try to emphasize energy-dense foods as much as possible. These are foods that contain many calories relative to their weight. Here are some more tips to gain weight. Combining a high calorie intake with heavy strength training are the two most important factors. That being said, there are several other strategies to gain weight even faster. Here are more tips to gain weight. Don't drink water before meals. This can fill your stomach and make it harder to get in enough calories. Eat more often. Squeeze in an additional meal or snack whenever you can, such as before bed. Drink milk. Drinking whole milk to quench thirst is a simple way to get in more high-quality protein and calories. Try weight gainer shakes. If you're really struggling then you can try weight gainer shakes. These are very high in protein, carbs and calories. Use bigger plates. Definitely use large plates if you're trying to get in more calories, as smaller plates cause people to automatically eat less. Add cream to your coffee. This is a simple way to add in more calories. Get quality sleep. Sleeping properly is very important for muscle growth. Gaining weight can be difficult, and consistency is the key to long-term success. It can be very difficult for some people to gain weight. That's because your body has a certain set point of weight where it feels comfortable. Whether you try to go under your set point, lose weight, or over it, gain weight. Your body resists changes by regulating your hunger levels and metabolic rate. When you eat more calories and gain weight, you can expect your body to respond by reducing your appetite and boosting your metabolism. This is largely mediated by your brain, as well as weight regulating hormones like leptin. So you should expect a certain level of difficulty. In some cases, you may need to force yourself to eat despite feeling stuffed. At the end of the day, changing your weight is a marathon, not a sprint. It can take a long time, and you need to be consistent if you want to succeed in the long run. Thanks for watching. If you got value from this video, like and share it with a friend. Subscribe to the Healthy Sloth for more videos like this one.
and click the notification bell icon to get notified whenever we release a new video. Have a great day and stay healthy.